tournament life on the line here. Virtus Pro need to walk away with a win in this game number two. Uh, the time is there, and then Shadow Shaman, uh, you know, in battling scenarios here in two versus two, three versus three, he's not particularly strong just because he is so squishy. No, he's kind of bad. It's not just because he's squishy, but the initiation range on the hero is so incredibly short. Right, uh, FNG, we actually lands that one. G's gonna get close enough to land an extra right click. He actually grabs a haste rune. He's gonna try and do battle up against Kuro. He's trying to get to the safety of Puppy, but Puppy's like, not me, man. I don't want to be anywhere near that one. First blood does go to God. He got level six with that. Just roll back to base. Oh, Kuro's been caught here. DK Phobos hits him with the Fisher, and they need another right click. Kuro saving his own life with the Shackles, but he'll die eventually. DK Phobos is the one to secure the last hit, and Will Six instead went for the extra uh, kill power of a level in Last Word, or maybe the Glaze of Wisdom. Not sure which he leveled first. Why do you think that is? I mean, it would seem like, as the safe lane farmer, that Global Silence is still going to be critical for Storm Spirit when he goes for these ganks. I think it's just so that he has a little bit more lane control, but I think he should have at least gotten the level. Because Puppy can just go for plays oh, like this. More. Yeah, he's going to pop both the ultimates there. They will be able to pick up that quick kill on G's Storm Spirit. Well worth the double ults. Yeah, that slows down the momentum of the Storm Spirit so much, who has been relying on ganking to get farm, but still, VP's doing a really good job of keeping up with, uh, with rotations. Luna's one of those heroes that is incredibly weak in the laning phase, and I mean, Kuro's playing probably one of the weakest supports from that level 2 region to level 5. Or he, uh, he has to dodge this light strike array, will not be able to, and here comes the nukes. He gets pops real quick. Arteezy actually makes his rotation, he pops the ultimate, they but VP, here. they're gonna stay grouped up together and try and fight up against Arteezy. The nukes are there, they get the kill, but S4, he has the double damage rune, gets the kill on Il Lil, and they get the Radius stun. Body. Three kills for S4. Still, though, they picked up a kill on Zai as well as Arteezy's Luna. That's really going to set back that Luna quite a bit. It's not the worst thing in the world for VP. I think it was Matt who I was talking to yesterday, and he said, the thing about that's crazy about playing against the Queen of Pain is that you know you only have two or three seconds to start a game, and then you're dead. Light Strike Ray lands on him. The chain stuns, and again, there's not much he can do. In a two versus one sh scenario, Shackles doesn't do anything for you. And S4 oh, gonna coming in and taking some of it. Jump in, Fisher leading the way. Arteezy looks like he's going to be popped here. They use the global silence just to make sure God is going to be fine. S4 comes in, silenced up. G does have enough for TP out, and there is no stuns coming out from Team Secret. So free kill and a walk away from VP. Yeah, and that's huge because how often do we see Arteezy at 0, 3, and 3 right now at this phase of the game? VP are finally one of the few teams to really just take it to him and contest that safe laner. And Luna's a hero that's kind of similar to Gyrocopter, but at the same time, there's a lot of limitations. The hero relies on being able to five-man group up, and he just doesn't have the farm to be able to do so. And Oh, this is going to be sick timing right now, because if S4 dies to this, this is going to slow him down so much. The gang comes in, they manage to get the Fisher just ahead of the jump, double drops, but still not enough. S4 manages to get the blink away. It felt like it was gonna be a really tough like VP had to combo that perfectly the Fisher into both the familiars and the echo slam to follow it up and that just didn't quite happen uh, Arteezy he smoked up he actually runs into FNG here they know someone is around meanwhile S4 still managed to pick up the kill there on the visage going back to that bottom lane though the Laguna blade getting put out on Zai brings him a little low God has a lot of mana jump for it and will start going for Arteezy locking him down beautiful choice they do not want to let Arteezy get off his ultimate and that's a fourth death for Arteezy, and although S4 is snowballing really hard on this Queen of Pain, it's still a Queen of Pain. It has such a quick Orchid. It's... <laughs> Alright, it's done at 13 minutes. That's really sub-13 minute Orchid right now, and this is just going to terrorize VP, because there's very little that they can do to counter it, and she's going to die right here. Yeah, they jump in, already slowing him down with the silence there. They should be able to pick up the kill, search, run forward, and sure enough, the Orchid pops. And she does go down. So now that they see that Orchid, it's been revealed. You said there was very little options that VP have to deal with an Orchid at this timing. What is one of the things that they can do? They just kind of have to play the guessing game. If you counter-initiate wherever S4 decides to go. Oh, Kuro. They needed a Fisher. There it is. DK Phobos finds it at the tail end of... He's actually going to get close to that Blink Dagger, which could be one of the ways they counter. Oh, S4 is going to kill... Yeah, they're going to try and chase him down, run him down the last right click. He managed to get him. DK Phobos running forward with the Echo Slam and slow down Puppy. Enchant. Oh, no. He stunned up Arteezy. 
in this phase of the game, you're just using the Glimmer Cape. Uh-oh, FNG runs right into S4. God's gonna be there, he will have their so turnaround. Bad. They need the Familiars to drop. Global Sound's gonna become off as well, and S4 will go down with the help of FNG's nukes. Incredibly important kill will slow down the Queen of Pain and a plus side that FNG bears and rely on the fact that there's no Global Silence and that's exactly what they go for. Yeah, but the ward is there. Barely spotted out some of the Team Secret heroes, but it was there. And the smoke up, this could be a prime opportunity for VP. This actually beautiful Fisher block, keeping two away from the Roshan pit. They're kind of separating these heroes, dodging around Puppy as best as possible. And try, try and pop Kuro. God jumps in, going for that one. Laguna Blade gets laid out. They managed to bring a couple heroes low. God gets away with that Orchid. Oh, there goes FNG, getting blown up by S4's ultimate. Gets Illidan on the side as well as he blinks forward. Now the Black Hole controlling God while they finish up more heroes. Lil managed to get RTZ towards the end as he's being chased down. God jumps forward ahead of S4, trying to get out of this one, but the Malphys is there, stunning him up, uses the soul ring for the last bit of jump, there's an invis room, but he can't quite get there in time, S4 will get the kill, triple for him, in the meantime, Zai brought a little low, but Lil did manage to get away with DK Phobos. And that was just really good team play by Secret, they help each other out for as long as possible, it takes way too long for Crow to die, and I think they just entered the Roche pit again, they didn't even drop the wards the first time around, is about to respawn in 6 seconds, this is an easy go for them, and you have to go for this objective if you're secret. It's just so much safer. Arteezy, you can't just expect him to farm for the next four or five minutes to catch up. You just have to start taking objectives. DK Phobos, he's already making his way to the Roshan pit. He's so close to that blink dagger. Nice, actually, incredibly low. He's at 250 HP. If Roshan hits him once right here, almost getting it. They need just a oh, long range move. Nice. FNG, he gets it. Lil with the one familiar jumps inside the pit, gets that kill. Now FNG kind of stuck here. Puppy's actually going to be silenced up. Global silence on top of that one. Illidan really wants this kill, but the Glimmer Cape's keeping him alive. Oh, Meanwhile, S4, S4 he's inside the pit against Roshan. Mano a mano, but he's got to blink away. Arteezy, he turns around. He doesn't have the ultimate. No defensive measure. What's here? He gets taken out for the sixth time this game in 17 minutes. And Roshan down to 2k HP. Team Secret looks like they're just gonna have to give this one up. Oh, this is gonna be so awful if they lose this. G's about to get a Aegis right now. They, it's so low. It's so hard for them to kill him in the first place. They had to commit so much to it. And VP, I don't know how they did it that second time around, but it helps so much. The amount of armor that you can. 10 armor, that's pretty ridiculous. It's like a double deso. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna smoke for this. This is a really easy move by uh, VP to make. G's got the Aegis. You wanna start building up the Bloodstone charges while you can, and they know that Secret are... Fine Poppy, leading, leading in with the Blink Dagger. Glimmer can helping him out, but the dust is there, and Poppy will end up going down. Team Secret, no response from them. Nor could charge. God's not too worried about that one. He's just trying to clean up the creep wave Dyer's and keep the siege creep alive so they can take the tier two. They used the orchid already on G. It should be refreshing up soon, but this tier two tower is going to go down. And uh, he actually runs forward. On. Glimmer King, they do have the dust to be able to reveal him, and they're just staying at a distance. I love this. They surround Puppy, but make sure that they're not going to group up too much for a black hole because there is always the danger of Zai counter-initiating at that point with a vacuum and then you're getting a three or four man black hole. That could be the whole entire fight right there. Everybody, yeah. like you can outlast them during the global silence, but it does mean that Secret have to position themselves nearly perfectly when it comes to the Earthshaker Echo Slime. Mm -hmm. But they've got a lot of different ways to win fights. Like two BKBs with the Crimson Guard on you at the same time, it's going to be incredibly hard for VP to deal damage. And this is why Team Secret are actually going to go for a smoke up here and enter into the Virtus Pro jungle. Team Secret are hoping to be able to catch somebody really important here. God would be a prime target, but he's actually, it seems like Virtus Pro may know as God's just sitting there with his remnant waiting for a smoke to pop with that flying vision. Yeah, there's no reason for them to have to split up. They know if the, there's nobody at that top lane, nobody in that mid lane. This is 100% them in the jungle, and she's going to spot this right now. Yeah, they do have vision. They're going to start moving forward. He actually jumps to the background, going straight for Puppy. No chance from a black hole, but they do get a vacuum sonic wave combination. That already seeks out Illidan. Huge kill there, and now the black hole is still there to be able to control God. S4 comes back for that double, and now Team Secret have found their opening. They're going to try and clean up more, but no one else from VP is around. Oh, they're going to lose their courier at the same time. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And so that's what Secret have prioritized over damage is just outlasting their opponents more than anything. Uh-oh, Illidan. Oh, he's going to be so caught bad. here. He can't he actually can't TP up because there is going to be a vacuum to bring him back into that wall. S4 lets loose the ultimate now and catches three in the process. They almost brought down FNG at the same time. You don't want to waste the Aegis. 
and nail it in. There it is. Jump in. Arteza going to be able to grab him instantly. Hexed up, though, and be in some serious trouble. He's trying to get rid of that Aegis. The Global Silence has popped. And G will actually jump himself away. VP maybe waiting for the counter initiation. Arteza came forward, lost his BKB. They're going to try to change that him down. It's actually been hit. And there goes Ephedalin. The black hole's gone. Arteza couldn't even get off his ultimate. DK oh, almost left to S4. They've already taken two. Can they get more? FNG gets popped by S4, but S4 is being controlled by G. He gets taken out. God, Bumpy, he's going to be able to get away. No, he couldn't TP out in time. Elden, he's going to go down to the right clicks of the illusions from the wall. And that he wasted a BKB charge from Artur. He didn't get his ultimate off. And they do have buybacks, but you want to force those at this point. Yeah, one of the best things about yeah, winning that fight for VP cool. was that it was right in front of Team Secret's base, and you can go immediately to pushing down these tier 3 towers. Orchid it up, Kuro just charges right in there. There's the vacuum, but Kuro still can be popped by this Orchid, and G has enough mana to be able to jump out if he needs to. He wants the tier 3 tower first. In fact, he might want to fly as well. Oh, no! They actually lost two. G immediately TPs out. Lil the follow him. Arteezy couldn't get there in time for the Listen Beam to stop that TP out, so 23-18 Virtus Pro. Everybody else yeah. bought out. Um, S4, S4 will have his. He's, he's only missing 100 gold for it, so he should be able to get a three-man packing. Nice wall on top of that. Sonic Wave goes off, but VP are still taking enough to survive through this. Illidan will drop a little low thanks to that Orchid, but he's still able to get out. Secret desperately need to try and chase down these heroes, but they can't overextend. VP are ready for a response. In fact, now they've caught S4. Yule Scepter, Light Strike Array, trying to burst him down as fast as possible. S4 does go down. He does not have the buyback. There goes DK Phobos! Echo Slam on two! Trying to pop our TZ to get Poppy as well. Skurro's now going to be caught on top of Light Strike Array, and Team Secret may have just fallen apart in this team fight as they don't get anybody out of VP. Poppy's already bought backside. Going to be able to get another three net vacuum, but Poppy's been down by these familiars. He turns around, but God surges forward with the Fisher on top. They will be able to get this kill. Crimson Guard again, but they're all low. Zai has to make a big play right here. He managed to pick up one already. Zai gonna get turned around up by the three. A Vernon Pro triple kill. Team Secret get wiped inside of their own base. And nobody from Secret at this point have a buyback. They're just gonna have to wait this out. 59 gold remains for that Queen of Pain buyback. VP don't have the strongest tower hitting team, so they have to get a lot out of this right now. They might just be able to go for a double set of racks. You, even if you just walk away with range barracks at this point, it's well worth it for them. Is, this is going to mean a lot in terms of net worth. After that fight alone, they're up 10k. They're going to get this tier 3 tower minimum. The tower's going to follow, and S4 is not going to buy back, so this is probably going to mean double racks. Team Secret, two racks down by 37 minutes. It's rather early on into the game. Virtus Pro has so many items to pick up once they go back to base. Team Secret actually hoping to be able to catch somebody here with S4 jumping forward. Popping the BKB going straight for Illidan, but there goes that Agonim Scepter. S4 has actually dropped a little low. God turns around instead of going for S4. He wants to pick off Kuro. Make sure there's no disables there and does get Marteze chasing down FNG, but he couldn't even get that much. Now slowed down by the Rod of Atos inside the vice. They're going to try and get the damage necessary. DK Fobos is on S4. Yule Scepter there and familiar. He needs it. 11 HP. Can't quite get it, but Marteze, he's fighting up against DK Fobos who makes a quick retreat with the Blink oh, Dagger. S4, go this. this is dangerous. If he wants it, he's got to play it perfectly. And he does decide back himself. He is actually only 20 gold away from his Scythe of Vice that we talked about. And Illidan completed the oh, BKB. They're, run into Never each mind. Other. they're actually going to go for this one. Smoked up Team Secret. This is going to be the end here. Jump in already grabbing Poppy Orchid it up. They're going to try and burst him down. No black hole opportunities, but he gets away with the Glimmer Cave. Now the Global Silence goes laid down. Kuro's going to fall to God. And Arteez, he gets zapped by FNG, who turns around and gets the Light Strike Array. They chase Dun down S4. Now Illidan, he's going to be able to fight up against Arteez as well. Picks up that kill. GG! Furnace Bro will take game number two and keep their hopes alive in this tournament. Just masterfully played by them. That Roche pit, uh, Roche pit fight where they were able to keep things going to get the Angus multiple times on G. Just outplaying Secret when it mattered. And, I mean, that was about as close as it gets. That top fight cemented things for them, but Virtus Pro well played. And this was a team victory. There was no real standout player here. Everybody just collectively worked together for this one.